Hey, 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 Sagittarius. What's up? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I'm coming to you with your general love tarot reading for September 2020. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. Love messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Sag, what's up? This could be someone that you're dating or connecting with. Also, could be the energy of a past person. All right, this is a general love reading, so it won't resonate with every Sag out there. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Do check your moon, rising, and Venus sign, all right? Also, if you want a more personalized reading, let me know. The information is in the description box for personal love readings, all right? Also, I have a special promotion. I just reached 30,000 subscribers. So as a token of appreciation, I'm offering you $30 love tarot readings, okay? So take advantage of that offer. It's for a limited time only, okay? Also, check me out on Patreon and Vimeo for bonus extended love readings for how does, how does your partner feel about you for all the Zodiacs, okay? So check me out. Connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, all that is in the description box. All right, so I'm going to use the Spellcaster's Tarot here for the main spread and the Light Seer's Tarot to clarify. All right, let's see. Love messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are they going through in love? What do they need to know? All right, Sag, we have that Knight of Wands in reverse. Leo, Sag, Aries, there's someone that you're dealing with or you were connecting with who just was not consistent, okay? They may have been playing games with you. You may have felt like they were just in and out of your life, okay? And I'm, I'm getting the sense that you guys were just done with that, okay? There's someone here who was just in and out. Um, they could have just been, you may have felt like they were playing you or definitely getting a player energy here, right? So let's see the current energy between you guys. Well, the seven of wands. So someone's guarded. Okay. This could be you Sagittarius. You may be guarded towards them. You may have even blocked them out. Okay. Because I'm getting the sense that, yeah, you're just like not having it. You're not having someone just roll up and wanting to see you just when they want to see you. It's like, no. You know, I'm going to need you to do more. All right, so what's on your person's mind? The Wheel of Fortune. So something here is not working out in their favor. They don't like that you're standing up and you're cutting them out or you're blocking them. That's what I'm getting here, okay? Something here is not moving forward here for them. They feel like they can't have their way with you, okay, or take advantage of you. And it's like, yeah, Sag, I mean, you need to put your foot down. That's what I'm seeing. So how they see you is wanting to heal the situation here. Star, we got Aquarius energy. So it looks like your person, okay, they're wanting to come together. They're, wanting to, they're optimistic. They're wanting to pour into your cup now okay that's what i'm seeing here you see the pouring of the cup so it looks like your person may be wanting to do something about the situation now that things are now turning around okay it looks like now sagittarius you're showing that you're in charge okay that seven of wands is like uh-uh you're not gonna just roll up and just ride all over me okay that's what i'm seeing here some of you guys are dealing with an aquarius so on your person's in your person's mind emotions and feelings we got the six of wands reverse so they're not they're not feeling like you're appreciating them anymore they're feeling like you're not showing them them attention okay i'm getting a person it has a big ego as well that six of wands reverse they feel like you yeah they're not getting the attention that they want or you're not desiring them anymore or you you push back or you um i'm getting the energy that sagittarius you probably just show them that you you're the one in charge and you're the boss here okay it's like uh-uh you're not gonna just take advantage of me you're not gonna just do things your way okay that's what i'm seeing here because you may have felt your person was just um just very inconsistent is what i'm seeing how, how did your person see moving forward? Yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse. They ticked you off. That's what I'm seeing. That Queen of Cups in reverse, you may have felt like they just didn't love you. They just didn't nurture the connection, all right? They were just not openly, um, you know, giving you them or they may have been blocked in love. I just feel like you, you guys felt like this person just handed you an empty cup. And a lot of you guys, um, you guys have pulled away from this person, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on behind the scenes? The Two of Pentacles. So it looks like a person's juggling now. They could have been juggling other people, other options, but I almost feel like they're, they're trying to get on stable ground with you now, right? They're wanting to heal, come back together, okay? Because something is now not moving in on their terms or not moving in their favor, okay? They want your attention. You guys have probably pulled off, blocked this person, moved on. Let's see. 
yeah, the Seven of Cups in verse, your person is now getting clarity that they can't just do whatever they want when they want, right? The Seven of Cups, your person could have had options in love. They could have had different love interests, different people they were dealing with, okay, with the Two of Pentacles juggling back and forth. You and another person didn't know what they wanted. I'm feeling like they just came and, you know, they reached out whenever they wanted, you know, something from you. And it was all about them. But I feel like now the table's turning, right? The wheel of fortune. Things aren't happening the way they want it now, okay? Because you put your foot down, Sag. What's the outcome? The Ace of Cups. Wow. So... <laughs> Ace of Cups, there's a renewal of something here. So I feel like as soon as Sag tells this person, you know what, I'm not going to have it. It's not your way or the highway. That's when this person changes and they offer you something real. This Ace of Cups is a renewal, okay? It's a new beginning of love. Some of you guys may even have a new person coming in. But for a lot of you guys, I almost feel like this is coming back together with someone who you had to put... You had to show them who's in charge, okay? It's like finally things are turning around um, and it's like now you're getting what you want, Sag, right? You've probably been dealing with someone who was not really offering you commitment, who's not really trying to settle down, who was in and out of your life for who knows how many years, six, seven years, six, seven months, whatever. But I almost feel like now you're getting what you want, Sag, because you told this person that I'm not going to play around and play these games with you. So, wow, look at that. Eight of Swords. Your person is letting go of something here. They may have been tied and bound to something. Could have been tied and bound to a person. But I feel like ultimately there's something here you may also be releasing, okay? You're no longer going to be stuck in your head, waiting on this person, waiting for them to change, okay? You've let that go. Any conflict, any stress, any anxieties, that were, anything of feeling trapped and bound, you're letting that go. And as soon as you do that, you have love coming in, okay? Whether it's from this person or not, right? Because you were stuck waiting on this person for some time. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. And you guys are like, uh-uh. Uh -uh. no 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 not anymore that's not how it works so let's get some clarity here for Sagittarius what does Sagittarius need to know about this connection here for those who are resonating with this reading get deeper into this reading what, what do we need to know for Sagittarius clear concise accurate messages all right let's let's start with that eight of swords Gemini a Libra Aquarius energy you know, this could be you or your person. Someone was tied to something here. But it looks like something is it's letting go. Someone's letting go of something here. Five of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So it could have been a past situation, okay? It could have been some past hurt or something here in the past that kind of kept you guys not being able to move forward. That Five of Cups is disappointment, okay? It's kind of, you know holding on to something that just didn't happen right and you guys are finally no longer being trapped to the past okay so that's what i'm seeing and that's beautiful because that's allowing you to, to to be open to now love okay and this ace of cups can freaking be self-love i mean it could be regardless sagittarius you are loved you have love coming in whether this is a past person whether this is a new person or this is just your damn self loving yourself for who you are and cherishing and knowing your worth all right so let's get some more clarity that knight of wands in reverse this player this player <laughs> this player was in and out of your life very inconsistent okay you didn't know if they were coming or going they never really told you they even they didn't really make plans with you they didn't tell you when they were going to see you i'm just getting the sense that they they kind of just did things whenever they wanted on their own time leo sag aries what do we need to know about this knight of wands very immature energy by the way okay and we got yeah the two of wands this person kept you as an option okay that two of wands it's like you may have wanted something to move forward, but they were indecisive, okay? They just didn't really know what they wanted. It was either you or another person or a different path, okay? I feel like your person just had too much going on. And you guys decided, you know what? I'm not doing that. Six of Cups in reverse. Could have been a past person, a past situation, someone here that you've had history with, someone here that you have split ways with possibly because they just weren't treating you right, right? You had bad memories or regulations of the past. Um, it could be an ex as well here, a past soulmate, someone that you've dealt with in the past life. Six of Cups. There's nostalgia. It's also reflecting on the past situation, but it, again, it's not in the greatest light because I feel like you guys were disappointed by this person, which is why you guys may have blocked this person out with the Seven of Wands or guarded them, okay? Or guarded yourself toward them, guarded your heart from them, okay? Now, that Wheel of Fortune in reverse, this is your partner on their mind. They feel like, you know, they got shut out by you, right? So they're feeling like now, well, things aren't working the way they want it to, right? Things aren't moving forward in their love life or regarding you because you know you you put that 
to a stop. You put that to a halt is what I'm seeing. Let's see. What's this wheel about for Sagittarius's partner? What's this wheel? Wow, look at that. And that makes them want to now, do I apologize? Do I come into Sagittarius? Do I offer them my love or express to them my feelings, right? Because something here is now making the turn for the worse, right? They see you now maybe moving along without them, right? You shut that door so they can't just be coming in and out of your life whenever they want, right? So now they don't have all these options. They don't have all these, you know, opportunities and roads and paths to take. So it looks like now your person... They're thinking about coming in with an apology, okay? Telling you that, you know what, Sag, I'm, I'm sorry for what I did, right? The Six of Cups in reverse, whatever they did to you in the past. And they want to now offer you love, right? The stars, well, they see you as wanting, you know, they see you as um, wanting to heal. Um, they wanting to heal a situation here with you, right? They see you as being very... Um, you know, they see you as being their their wish. They're someone that they desire, right? They want to pour their love into. Uh, I do feel like your person's optimistic that they can have you back. The judgment. See, I think your person's very confident, too. I will just say that. I'm just throwing it out there. Big ego, but also a lot, a lot of confidence here. And it looks like well, they want to make a judgment call, right? Making a final decision. Typically, this is a reconciliation. Rising to the ashes and saying, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this, right? So what's this judgment about? Ooh, got two cards here we got the four of swords in reverse and the death in reverse unbelievable see the four of swords your person is anxious okay yeah you guys have been probably on a break for some time may have not been speaking may have not been communicating okay if you block this person yeah i'm getting the energy you guys were not speaking for some time you may even ghost at this person and they ghost at you but it looks like well they're getting anxious now they're no longer wanting to keep quiet wanting to st keep things stagnant okay and they're resisting now now they want to speak to you now they want to you know have a rebirth here okay your person also could have been stubborn in the past they may have resisted change or didn't want to see their ways okay their selfish ways but i feel like now they want to rebirth they want to change the situation here and they're getting very stressed very anxious because well they want they want a, a, a redo okay they want to do this over they want a judgment call to be made they want to have an opportunity to move forward here with you right so in their feelings and emotions well they feel like something here isn't successful something is not working out for them they're not feeling victorious possibly because Sagittarius you probably moved on without them right so let's see what's the six of wands in reverse Leo Sag Aries yeah we got the nine of cups in reverse so your person's very unhappy look they're not getting their cups filled they're feeling unhappy without you you no longer desire them you're no longer giving them the attention right you're no longer um showing your love for them that's why they have the nine of cups in reverse they're feeling a lack okay so we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. How they see moving forward with you? Well, they certainly feel shut out. And we got the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also got water energy. Wow. So it like... I'm seeing as soon as you shut this person out emotionally and try to detach from them, that's when they want to mature, right? That's when they want to present something real to you and turn things around. That King of Pentacles, some of you guys are maybe married to this person, but others of you guys, this is someone here with, with Earth um, in their chart, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just someone who now is matured and they're wanting to offer something real, okay? Commitment, something long-term, stability, right? So again, as soon as you pull back, right, Sagittarius, is, you no longer find them desirable or you no longer um trying to mess around and play with their games they're like oh I'm, I'm serious right this is them wanting to offer something real tangible okay um secure so that's what i'm seeing some of you guys this person also could have been dealing with a water sign if that's not you let's see what's this two of pentacles about regardless this person was juggling okay i feel like you guys may you you put it you guys pretty much felt like they just were playing you for a fool, okay? You, this person had options and love, right? The Seven of Cups, they created a lot of illusions. They were emotionally just, you know, causing you to just, you know, just, I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a lot of just emotional drama and you may have felt like just emotionally exhausted from this person dealing with their games and indecisiveness, Okay, what do we have? The King of Cups. So yeah, someone has a lot of love for you. We got the Queen and King of Cups, a divine partnership here. I just want to point that out to you guys. One person's in the reverse. So it just meant that you guys, it's like when they wanted love, 
When you wanted love, they didn't want love. And now it's like when they want love from you, you're like, uh-uh, I'm done with that. That ship has sailed, right? Bottom line is that this person does have a lot of love for you, but at that time, they just didn't know what the hell they wanted, right? They had a lot of other priorities. They had other people they were dealing with, other responsibilities they were juggling, okay? Um, what's the Seven of Cups about? Ace of Swords. So now your person's going to speak some truth, and we got the Page of Pentacles. So your person now wants to communicate to you, right? They no longer have options in love. The Seven of cups in verse they've gotten clarity on what they want and they want to offer you that page of pentacles offer you the stability get back on the same page bring balance in order to the connection because you know well at the end of the day they have love for you they wanting a renewal right so i do feel like yeah, your person now wants to just stop playing games, right? They want to tell you the truth, how they feel. So there will be a communication. There will be some breakthrough. This person is going to reach out, whether it's through text, social media, um, you know, slipping into your DM, sending you a message, whatnot. What's this Ace of Cups about? The outcome is the Ace of Cups for Sagittarius. Let's get some clarity. Oh, so the Ace of Wands trying to come out. Wow. Two of Cups. Are you kidding me? Two of Cups here? You guys are soulmates. Like, you guys are, like, destined to, like, come back together. Like, I don't know if you guys feel this this incredible um connection with this person, but I'm, I'm feeling like you guys, you may have known this person. It, it, it took you leaving this person for this person to finally step up and do the right thing, right? The Ace of Cups and Two of Cups, a lot, very, very strong, strong connection, union, partnership coming together here, um, a strong reconciliation. Um, yeah, and let's see. Let's get one more card for the Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There's a lot of love between you guys at the end of the day. It's like no matter what you guys have been through, the magician, see? Manifesting. You've been manifesting this person, but some of you guys, it is a new person. It is a whole entirely new lover if you are you've been manifesting if you've been doing the work look what's coming in your dm soulmate is coming in calling in your soulmate okay that's what i'm seeing here all right sagittarius let me know if this resonates like share comment subscribe i've hit thirty thousand subscribers thank to you so take advantage of the limited time offer 30 dollar love tarot readings okay limited time only it will not be on to the end of september i will tell you that all right sag take care and stay blessed